Hi, it's the Tropical Tippet for Saturday, June 1st, 2019. It's the first official day of the 2019 hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin, and appropriately, we have a disturbance to monitor. Uh, the National Hurricane Center is watching this disturbance in the Bay of Campeche, which is going to drift westward toward the eastern coast of Mexico over the next few days uh, rather slowly, and at the moment, it's a pretty broad system. Uh, we're dealing with a large monsoon gyre uh, centered over northern Central America, and it's a little triangular shaped in nature. So we sort of have a couple of lobes here that are kind of shaped like this, sort of like this rounded triangle. So we have a lobe over the Yucatan, a lobe to the southwest, and this lobe over the Bay of Campeche is now over water. And we're seeing a little bit of rotation here and some convective activity. If we take a closer look, at the visible floater. Uh, it's a little hard to see beneath all of the convection, but if you take a look at the wind directions of the low-level clouds, in a few locations you'll see southeast wind here, you'll see westerly wind on shore to the south, and if you look really closely at the beginning of the loop, you'll see northeast wind in the low-level clouds here before the convection covers it up. And so what this is basically painting is a picture of some broad-scale rotation trying to develop right about in here, and whether or not this is a you know, closed circulation again. This is a whole giant gyre here of monsoonal nature. So whether or not a small scale low is trying to close off here remains to be seen. We need a good ASCAT pass or, or something to, to get a better picture here. Uh, but it seems kind of loose at the moment. And as this lobe over the Yucatan starts to rotate around, uh, whatever this is is going to try to uh, get pushed a little bit toward the west or west-southwest in the short term. And it remains to be seen how close it will get to the coast of Mexico. Um, before it potentially takes a turn toward the north, which we'll talk about. Uh, one thing to note is that the mid-level clouds right in here are coming out of the south, and I noted that the surface wind is more out of the west-southwest here, so there is some misalignment of the mid-level and low-level circulations. The low-level one is somewhere in here, and the mid-level one is offset probably a bit to the west. And whether or not you can call these closed lows or just troughs aloft and at the surface, again, is hard to say, but they are a little offset from what I can tell. So this is not a super organized disturbance at the moment. Uh, but this area of the basin, the southern Bay of Campeche, is known for being conducive for little, little disturbances like this to spin up. And sometimes it doesn't take that much time for them to get their act together. So this will be something to keep an eye on as it nears Mexico over the next couple of days. And we'll likely be talking about rainfall as the primary impact here as the system nears the coast. Whether or not it's able to spin up into a tropical storm with some uh, significant winds will depend mostly on how long it's able to stay over water. We have this sort of loose structure at the moment within which, you know, a closed low could try to form sort of anywhere in here. How close that ends up being to the coast as it comes in uh, will be key as to how much time this has uh, to try to organize. And in the longer term, we may see it try to take a little bit of a turn to the north. This is the uh, FV3 GFS 500 millibar analysis from this morning. So our system is down here at the bottom of the screen, and we have sort of this ridge axis to its north of high pressure sort of pinning it down in the Bay of Campeche right now. But we have this trough over California that's going to be moving its way eastward very slowly over the next uh, two to three days. And as that occurs, it will shift this ridge over to the east a little bit and sort of open up uh, the southerly flow ahead of the trough uh, across Mexico and Texas. So if we go to day three, this is Tuesday morning. Our system hasn't gone very far. It's still there in the Bay of Campeche on this model run, and our trough is moving ever so slowly to the east. But you can see now we have southerly flow opening up into Texas. Our big ridge has now sort of reshaped itself and is now oriented to the east of our system. And you can see that the mid-level steering flow is now sort of toward the north and up parallel to the coastline of the western Gulf of Mexico. And so this uh, will be something to keep an eye on because obviously if the system is offshore, we could see it's still uh, trying to organize as it is doing this. Uh, one thing that should be considered here, though, is that when, when weak systems are coming up out of the Gulf like this, uh, these troughs that come across tend to generate flow that is accelerating as you go toward the north. So you have very slow southerly flow here and then much faster southerly flow here. This tends to induce a lot of deformation in the flow, which will tend to string out, quite literally, that's, that's a decent term for it, string out vorticity and moisture so that something that's trying to get organized and circular here will tend to elongate as it comes northward. And if the system is weak, uh, then this can disrupt and uh, perhaps uh, destroy the system entirely. 
Uh, however, the moisture associated with such a disturbance uh, would still come up into Texas, and so regardless of whether we have a tropical storm trying to come up the coast and stays over water, uh, we may get some potential for enhanced rainfall in Texas and Louisiana and northern Mexico. Um, later on in the week and this is the moisture forecast in the mid-levels here showing all of this moisture streaming northward and we don't have an organized circulation on this model here so it's important to note that most models don't have an organized system coming up towards the US right now uh, but we may see a quick development near the coastline of Mexico and then it could kinda get caught up just inland of the coast as it tries to come up and uh, between land interaction and the potential for it to get strung out as it comes north, both of those things could disrupt this, but the moisture, again, will probably be there regardless. And so rainfall uh, will be the thing uh, to watch this for over the next couple of days, unless we see it really try to spin up off of the coast of Mexico as it tries to turn north. So right now, loose, disorganized, but something to keep an eye on here at the very start of the official hurricane season. Invest 91L is its official designation as it's been dubbed, and the Hurricane Center currently gives it a 50% chance of ultimately developing uh, this week uh, in this area of the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll keep an eye on it. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.